weekend's a melting pot of international talent, and we go out of our way to make everyone feel comfortable. Hey, Giannis. Opa! Opa! You guys know that nobody actually does that in Greece. Giannis! Opa! Oh, Scott? Mm hmm Uh, did you possibly switch chairs with me? No. No, not me. Are you sure? Yeah. Good luck finding your chair, LeBron. Okay. Okay. Yeah, one last question. Does that come in cream? What, what's tote now? Uh-huh. I think it's coming in really good. Yeah, totally. I'm gonna win this mustache contest. Maybe. Good luck with the... You're going down this year. See you in two weeks, pal. Of course we all play fantasy football around here, but the NFL guys, they play fantasy sports center. You know what? I'm taking the Gandhi. At least the guy's got desk presence. He's got a great jawline. Lee? Mm -hmm. He's gonna have a bad hair year. I have him as a sleeper. Deep sleeper. Is there pressure? Let's just say the winner gets 75 bucks. There's my boy. Bring the heat this year. Mm -hmm. And there goes my season. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, that whole Brett Favre thing was really hard to keep track of. So we had to come up with a system. You're sure? All right. He's coming back. 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 So is it one if retired, two if unretired? I think it's the other way around. That makes sense. Hey, Ovi. Hey, what's up? What are you doing in the dark, man? Nothing, just the late night filings. Really? Late night filing? What are you, a Russian spy or something? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll catch you later. Yeah, see ya. Пронесло. Да, уж чуть не спалили. How long has you been up there? I don't know, I think a while. You all right, Mike? Pound chick, <laughs> like, no. Guy. Come on, I'm all about the low main. You know? How you doing? Hey, what's up? That's exactly what Jordan would have picked. Also very Jordan-esque. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the tree gets to the sawmill. And it's hand cut with a chainsaw. And then what? Then more and more wood is carved into really thin slices with a super sharp blade. Like a like a razor sharp? Like really, really sharp. Got to be messy. Oh yeah, there's wood everywhere. How long does something like that take? Hours. They just keep cutting, cutting, cutting. I get your name in the back. That's all laser. Hey Scott, man. Mm -hmm. We're working on these nicknames. All right. We got a couple. Okay. 
the parquet possum, the three basketeers, Mirage et toi. It's French. Or we can go with the, the three, three amigos. amigos. <sighs> what you think? The Boston Three Party. See, right. I like that. See, this man's a Big. professional. Hey, Scott, thank you, man. That's what I told you. Let's go work on the other thing, man. Is emotionally and physically exhausting. Afterwards, the last thing you want to do is talk to the media. But we're professionals, we do our job. Like Dan doesn't step on everyone's lines every show, whether it's me or whether it's the, whatever the guy's name is used to the show. But I mean, uh, you know, he's always doing that and it's his show. Yeah, it's the greatest job in the world. That's what I tell you guys. But when I go home, I go into a little shell. I go down to my basement and I sit there and I just think. I think, what am I doing with my life? Sir, my computer's all messed up. Mind if I find it? No, you're all good. Go ahead. What is it with the computers in here? I'll try John's. Game time, baby. Yo, game time. You got that LeBron thing going on? It's gonna be a great show. A great show. Ready to do this? Let's do it. Not again. I didn't know you guys were watching last night. Thank you guys. It means a lot. Thank you. What are you talking about, stuff? I had that 27 10 last night, and today, chicken curry. 54 points last week, and the next day, Curry Stew. Yeah, but stuff. I don't think Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Means a lot. I lace them up every night for guys like you. Who was that guy? I don't know. Seems like the chicken, though. Next, if Mr. Van Pelf comes up with a popular new catchphrase, he will receive 12 new vanity license plates with said phrase. Shaz Bagel. Further, if Mr. Van Pelt uses more five-syllable words than any other anchor, He'll have a sandwich named after him in the cafeteria. It will be called the Scott Van Melt. Delicious. And finally, if Mr. Van Pelt wins an Emmy Award, he'll be allowed to wear a Snuggie on air for an entire year. OK. Everything but the Snuggie. What? We're going to need the Snuggie. Dale, you help me get down to Danbury? Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. Here. It's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. You uh, get out on the main road here. You go straight about half a mile, maybe a little less, and take a left, follow that, straight another half a mile, and then you take a hard left, mm -hmm. right? And then you go straight a half a mile, take another left. Yeah, that's right, man. You just keep on that. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. All right, man, no problem. Any, anytime. Oh, the, uh, John, the directions. Dad, how many years have you been coaching now? 33. No oh, kidding. All in Tennessee. Wow. I guess you could say you started off as a volunteer <laughs> Seven national championships. I mean, that is unbelievable. Well, I've been very lucky. I mean, you've reached the summit of the coaching profession. Summit. Yeah, I guess you could say I got this coaching thing down pat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, CP. Yeah. What do you think you go for tonight? 16? 17? No, I think I'm going to go for 28. 28? You ever get that before? Yeah, last year in Washington. All right. Good luck with that. Feeling brave, huh? Yeah. Uh, 12, 16, and 28. Yeah. Spicy Kung Pao chicken. Right. Thanks. 15 minutes. What are you doing? Like, what do you mean? What's going on, guys? Josh, what's up, man? Oh, excuse me. What's up with him? A couple of those home run derby balls you hit? Yeah. And they were his cousins. Yeah. Morning, LT. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, thanks. None of these are mine. Ever since the show went to high definition technology, we've had to hire a much more sophisticated staff. Excuse me. 
Just no. Why you? Why you gotta throw my racket? Once they start to grasp sports, man, possibilities are endless. So, is there a quarterback controversy in New York? Help That's. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. It's our job to help educate first-year players on how to deal with us, with the media. It's like our own little rookie camp. The official blows the call. You guys lose the game. You know you were in. After the game, he asks a lame question. The reporter asks you a stupid question. What are you going to say? That was a cruddy call. No, nah, it was a b call. Cruddy? Cruddy went out with Ward Cleaver. Come on, Kobe, what would you think of that call? What do you say? It was a bad call. <sighs> it wasn't a bad call. It was a b call by an b It was b That's a b call. He's an Scott Van Pelt. Has joined the conference. Fellas, sorry I'm a little bit late. Hope I didn't keep you guys. Hello? Anybody there? Hello? Am I the first or what? Hello? Anybody there? They always cancel these things and no one tells me. Scott Van Pelt. Has left the conference. Right in the front. That's like winning the lottery, dude. Really? I got that spot once. What are you saying? Hey, guys. Hey. And, and the guy was about to go in, right? So I sort of duck under him, right. you know? Man, he pops out of the car. His chili is running so hard. Right? I'm like, dude, it's a parking spot. Relax, right? It's no big deal. Slow day, huh? I listen. Man, I would kill for that schedule. Me too, man. Oh, I'm telling you, me. That is way in there, man. Don't worry about it. I got it. Yes, sir. Thanks. Eleven seventeen. Okay, so everybody's going to have their new security card in their mailbox on Friday. Because if you look at our chart here, that key gets you into every... The locks. Under the locks. So if you um, remember my chart, uh, there is a pie chart. Wedge of that is Saturday and Sunday. Hey, Steve. What's up, Kay? Hey, would you characterize your speed as explosive or incendiary? What'd you say? Hold on. What'd you ask? I think that answers it. Incendiary. Need anything else? Thanks. I'm good. I got my answer. Wait a minute. How do you spell? Did you say something? Is this one of those I before E words? As sports center anchors, you know, we work noon to 3 o'clock in the morning, 365 days a year. It can wear you out. That's why we brought in a conditioning coach. And read those scores, those sports scores. Get that almanac going and turn and turn. Type those stories, type those stories. Check those sources, check those sources. Camera one, camera three, camera one, camera three. Anything that helps us do our jobs better, we're all for it. Give me energy, energy. Da-da-da, da-da-da, yes, yes. Listen, Steve, I hear you. I mean, if it's up to me, right, it, it, we'd have the crocodile hunting 24-7. Exactly. Every single time I do my bootlaces up, I'm staring death right in the eyes. How many baseballers are doing that? I'm with you, that's for sure. Crikey! Stand back, John. Have a go at the size of this beauty. I got you, mate. Steve, oh, don't. Ooh, isn't he gorgeous? I'll have him subdued any minute now. I'll catch up with you later. John, give us a hand, mate. Jorge. Yeah. What's going on with your hat, man? What's wrong with my hat, man? I mean, it doesn't look like a ball player's hat. I mean, it looks all brand new. You know? Just come out of the box. <laughs> I'm a catcher, man. I, I never had to wear that thing. You got to bring this thing in. Hey, Wally. Wally! Hey! It's not what you think! Hey, there he is, the machine. What are you talking about? 
That's what they call you, right? Machine? I'm not a machine. Not a machine? The machine, right? You guys. I'm not a machine, okay? I'm just Albert. Whatever. Right, not a machine. Why didn't you eliminate them, Albert? Shut up. Hey, Stone Cold, what are you doing up so late? Hey, Dan. Just studying. I'm fading pretty fast. I know just the thing. Can I get one more of those? Sure. Thanks, buddy. That helps. Don't work too hard. More hips. I am. No, really, throw your hip into it. I feel like I'm doing just what you're doing. No, 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 Rap, you gotta, you know, you're doing this, right? And you need to really be, you know. That's good, that's good, that's good. good right there, yeah, that's I good, got you got it. Now I'm there. You got it. Okay. With all the success that Adrian was having, it was getting tough to juggle his schedule, so we got him an assistant. If I can get you to sign that, that'd be great. And oh, by the way, for Mom's birthday? Perfect. We had to get someone who could anticipate his every need. Yeah. Knock, knock. Which one? Bike me. Done. Oh, your 3 p.m. is waiting. When you hit that next level, man, there aren't enough hours in the day. He'll be with you when he's with you. We go through slums, like everyone else. And when things start going bad like that, Sometimes the best thing to do, watch the tape. Now look right here, your shoulder, you're dipping it. Really? What concerns me is this motion here. Yeah, the, the posture's good, isn't it? Is, is that bad? It's not good. I don't even know where to begin with this one. Yeah, that was, a, that was a poor effort. Eventually, the great ones always figure it out. I'm embarrassed. It's hard to find an expert more dedicated than John Clayton. He's the consummate pro. We'll see how the 4-3 and the cover three work together. John Clayton with the lead. Thanks, Dan. Take care. And whenever we need a brilliant insight, he's available at the drop of a hat. Hey, Ma! I'm done with my segment! Hey, Tiger. Hello, Stu. How you doing? Oh, we saw him for lunch? Uh, yeah. What do you say? Meet me in the lobby at 1230? Perfect. Done. See you there. Bye, man.